guys, welcome back to part two of uh, selecting the right size crate and crate training slash housebreaking your puppy. Uh, here I have the 28 inch crate with the Lixit bottle on the front for good hydration for your puppy. And then I have the 40 inch crate which is basically for your adult sized dog. Uh, probably about German Shepherd size, you know. Uh, a lot of times you may want to take your dog with you when you go select the crate, whether it's a Pet, pet Smart or Petco or Feeder Supply, Tractor Supply, Cabela's, those places. So, um, moving right along, um, eight week old puppy, you want to make sure you got a crate for it. Why? Because you don't want it going to the bathroom all over the house. Um, and you don't want it tearing up things in the house. This will help contain it, this will uh, make it its happy place where it wants to be. The biggest thing you're trying to score here is if the crate door is open, the puppy can come over, get a drink of water, go in and lay down with the door open. Okay, you want it to make it its happy place where it wants to be. Um, so that way, later on, if you're going to use, you know, a crate when after it gets older and it's house trained, you can always leave the door open, tell it to say crate. I tell mine, you know, crate, load up. They go straight to their crate and they lay down. <clears throat> Moving on, we're going to. Uh, talk about puppy schedules. Puppy schedule. Well, the puppy's going to go to the bathroom after they eat, after they play, and when they wake up. Now, while they're playing, that's kind of a tricky one. Okay, so you take, you get the puppy out of its crate. You know, the kids want to play with the puppy. Goes outside, uses the bathroom, comes back in. Puppy's playing, runs to the water bowl, gets a drink of water, comes back, is playing some more, back and forth to the water bowl. You want to wait about 10 or 15 minutes, take that puppy out, see if it's got to go to the bathroom. Okay. It is kind of some tedious work. It's kind of like potty training your kid. You know, you got to do the same thing because the biggest thing is, is you don't want to set your dog up for failure, okay? And failure would be peeing in the house, tearing something up in the house. So these are the safest methods to use until you yourself train your dog in housebreaking uh, etiquette and things of that nature. Um, now, I'm not saying leave your puppy in this or your dog in this all day long, okay? Everybody's got a schedule. Some people got to go to work. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad, this is your best option, even when you're at home. Okay? Yeah, you can get the puppy out, but if you've got work to do, you're cleaning house or whatever it is, put your puppy in here. Let it take a nap. Let it, you know, kind of unwind a little bit. All right? Um, because if you don't, you're going to be doing something. You're going to turn around. Puppy's going to have your couch cushion in your mouth. It's going to be tearing up a pillow. It's going to be eaten through a wall or something of that nature, and you're just going to be like, ah, I can't handle this. You know, I can't do it. I need to call a trainer. Then you're going to spend more money on a trainer to come in to teach you how to use a crate when you, you know, just do it yourself. And you just remember, schedule, you know, a uh, good rule of thumb, puppy's eight weeks old. It can typically last two to three hours in a crate. And that's a sleep. Puppies are going to sleep and eat, sleep and eat, sleep and drink, sleep and play, sleep and eat, sleep and drink. Okay? So you're going to have some long nights. And, but, you know, it'll get better. I promise you it will get better. I've got three puppies in there right now. They pretty much sleep from about 11 o'clock at night to about 6 or 7 in the morning right now. And they range, they range from 15 weeks to 17 weeks. So that's not too bad. But every one of them goes straight to their crate when we tell them, crate. How do I get them to go in the crate? Well, what I do is I get them out, I play with them, we're working them, we're doing things of that nature. And so what I'll do, when they go out to potty, I'll throw some treats in there, okay? What does that do? Well, that makes, when you put the puppy into the crate, he sees the treats. You do that two or three times, that puppy's going to go straight to the crate every time it comes in. Now, you don't have to do it every time, just when you want the puppy to go to bed. Then, that'll transition to, oh, I'm going to go in here and lay down and and hang out for a while while mom and dad run around the house and the kids are playing. I don't want nobody to bother me. So they come in here and they lay down in their crate and all's good. <clears throat> I've seen too many people trying to force their dog, their puppy, into a crate, closing the door real quick, latching it and going, Phew, God, that was a fight. Well, think about the type of dog you have. Let's just say, for instance, you have a German Shepherd puppy. All right, you're crate training, you're crate training, you're not using uh, what they call a jackpot on the inside. You know, you're throwing treats in there, the puppy goes in and eats, you're closing the door, or you're fighting it. If you're fighting it all the time, well, just think about this. That puppy's going to grow up. That puppy's going to get to be, you know, 75 to 100 pounds. You don't want to be trying to shove a 75 or 100 pound German Shepherd in this crate. 
because you're going to lose. You know, and it's going to, you know, you don't want to get bit. You don't want growling going on. You don't want the dog to uh, not want to go into the crate. This, again, is not a punishment. This is a tool to help you house break, house train your dog. Okay? You're not, what you're trying to do is not set your, or not set your dog up for failure. Okay? You want your dog to be a success. You know? And about, you know, when they're a year and a half old, you can test them. Go to the store, leave the dog out, see what happens. You know? You might have a tour pillow. Who knows? But you got to test them at some point to see how, you know, what happens when you leave. So right now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you an example of our puppies and what they do. They're going to be, they're outside right now and we're going to bring them in and they're going to go straight to your, straight to their crates. Okay? Stay tuned. So here we are inside the dog room and they'll be coming through that door in just a second. One goes to one crate, the other one goes to the other crate, close the doors. Very, very good. So there you have it. Uh... The guys part two of uh, crate training and, uh, and this helping how to housebreak your puppy or your dog um, you saw my dogs run straight to their crates again this is not a punishment this is a tool for you to use to set a schedule to help your dog learn to go outside to go to the bathroom okay next part we'll talk about what to do when the dog goes to the bathroom what to do uh, for things of that nature and how to create success for you and your dog and nobody's failing. So again, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have suggestions or you know a biased opinion, go ahead and put that in the uh, comments box below. And uh, click on click on our uh, faces there for to, to subscribe. Also hit that bell, all right? That bell will notify you on your smart device or your computer that we've uploaded a new video. And uh, take care of yourself and each other.